Um, so obviously you're outside County Hall tonight protesting. Can you just a bit, uh, explain a bit about why you're here and uh, you know why you're so passionate about being here? Um, I started realising how cuts were affecting people and it just didn't sit right with me and I got angry about it and because I, I was on my own at home getting angry I joined a group called uh, Unite the White which was an anti-austerity group and when Jeremy Corbyn came along we all joined Labour uh, because he was speaking our language and he was speaking about people who were vulnerable and who were being badly affected and nobody was talking about people like that and so um, I've joined various things like the fight for the hospital I've joined um, you know different campaigns I'm angry about the cuts to the fire service I'm angry about the maybe taking away the support for people going over for cancer services across the water. Lots of things that are hurting people. Cutting the local area coordinators, which are so badly needed, going to leave so many people isolated and in dire need, and it's just wrong. And uh, so what are you hoping to achieve then by standing here tonight outside the, uh, the building right before the full council meeting as well? I think the council need to realise that cuts affect real people. Now, they make cold hard decisions in there but they are they need to realize that people are not going to take it lying down and people are going to fight it and people are going to speak up about it and unless we make our voices heard they, you know what what's going to happen they're going to just carry on so whether they whether it will affect anything i don't know but we need to make our voices heard and we need to speak up for people whose voices who haven't got a voice really so and obviously then the council have been told that they need to save 5.5 million in the budget um from their point of view then where do you think that they could save the money if not through the through the cuts that you've already addressed Personally, I would, I personally would have liked to see them say, all the councils turn around, to, all of them across the country turn around to the government and say no more, we can't do it. And, and to make, all of them to make a stand because austerity was a con, it was a lie. It was an ideological choice by the government and it's hit the poorest hardest and it needn't have happened. So why is all this happening when, when austerity, austerity didn't need to happen? The money's there, it's not going to right people, basically, so... So what is your final message then, if the council are watching right now, what would you say to them? Please, please, please fight for the people of the island, those who are vulnerable and those who need support. You know, stop, stop doing this, stop it. Enough's enough.